Richard Grisham, CMO of Out of the Park Baseball 2018. Future GMs, managers, hopefuls, if you're dreaming about it, this is the game for you. Give us a little overview, and thanks for coming aboard here. Uh, thanks for having us. We're excited. So Out of the Park Baseball is an authentic baseball strategy game. It's not about your stick skills. It's about your baseball acumen. So you take the controls of your favorite franchise, not just a team, but the franchise from the very top of the major leagues all the way through low A ball and everywhere in between. You set your strategy. You determine what kind of a team you want to put in place, and then you execute at either the micro level or the macro level. You can get on the field, or you can be in the owner's box, or anywhere in between. So you could be both. You could be a GM and a manager, and how deep does it go? You're deciding game situations if you're a manager, if you're a GM. I mean, you can get hired by a team, fired by a team. What Absolutely. else? Absolutely, yeah. It's just like the real deal, right? So you put your, uh, you put your scouting uh, team in, in place, and you organize the types of free agents that you want to go after, and you set your overall strategy, your finances, right I mean money drives a lot too so you got to make sure you got your eye on the finances and then if you want to you can micromanage down to what kind of a pitch you want to pitch to a particular player in a particular situation and then you simulate you can go forever and this game goes deeper than you can ever imagine so for example we were running through simulations all week you Darvish gonna be free agent after the season right so yep. he signs with the San Francisco Giants according <laughs> to the simulation that we ran yep. becomes buddies with Buster Posey mm -hmm. in the wintertime they decide they want to go in on a nightclub venture Bruce Bochy manager says I don't think that's a good idea fast forward to some part of the season where there's a late night altercation <laughs> Buster Posey is suspended because of it this did not happen in real life no. just pointing out how deep it gets where do you come up with this stuff well it's all frankly based upon a hundred plus years of baseball history right I mean this is a game that we've been working on for 18 years now hence the name and a lot of crazy stuff has happened throughout the entire, uh, entire, entire history of baseball. So we take it all in, and there's, we try to miss nothing. Now, obviously, these crazy things don't happen all the time, but they do because they happen in real life, too. Yeah, we see it. I mean, Madison Bumgarner with the dirt bike accident, those yep. kind of stories pop up all the time. So you want to play the simulation game a little bit with some players? Because we, we like to project players on this show. Yeah. So let's do it through your game. And we'll start with Mike Trout sure. and the rest of his career. What would it look like? Is he going to make the Hall of Fame? What kind of numbers could he compile according to the stats that you guys uh, put through the simulator? Sure. Well, Mike Trout is going to the Hall of Fame according to Out of the Park Developments. He's going to play another 14 years, 11 of them pretty much full time. Uh, and then he's going to taper off until he retires at the age of 39 in 2031. For some numbers, he's going to get near a guy named Al Simmons. You might have heard of him. He's going to have 2,885 hits. He's going to hit uh, 571 home runs, putting him just a couple behind a guy named Harmon Killebrew, another Hall of Famer. And he's going to have a 526 slugging percentage, which will put him right in the company of a fellow named Mike Schmidt. So these are some of the numbers that he's going to put up. So Hall of Fame first bout, 2037, 99.3% of the vote. So there's still a Scrooge. Even years ahead from now, there's going to be people that are going to prevent Mike Trout from making it into the Hall of Fame. Uh, but he'll get in there. Uh, Justin Verlander, there's one. So yes. how do we project the rest for him? Because some teams looking at him right now, wondering how he'll look for the next couple seasons. Well, Justin Verlander is one of the great pitchers of this era. There is no doubt, but his career is winding down and out of the park baseball doesn't think there's more than a couple of years left. He's going to be a 500 pitcher next year and then he's going to be battling father time and injuries in 2019 before he ultimately hangs it up to close out what I think is a Hall of Fame career with 193 victories. Justin Verlander is watching this right now, gritting his teeth at the moment. We're, we're predicting futures. I mean, there's all kinds of wild stories. We did one simulation where uh, Kevin Segrist immediately retires because he donates his kidney to his brother. I mean, just all kinds of crazy scenarios that get popped up, but it could be very realistic. So everyone wants to know for this year, though, because that's why we're here as we go to the game-changing stats presented by Benjamin Moore. Like I teased throughout the show, give us the World Series champion. Well, out of the park baseball predicts that the Los Angeles Dodgers are going to win the World Series. Not exactly a, a shock there, but we ran 100 simulations and the Dodgers not only make the playoffs 100 percent of the time, but they also win the most World Series. Uh, now, what's also interesting is the Chicago Cubs win the World Series as much, but they only make the playoffs 96 percent of the time. So by by the pure numbers, the Dodgers are going to be a World Series champs. You can get this game on Mac, PC. Yep. I also love the nickname component. Like everybody has their nickname in there. <laughs> Mitch Moreland, Mitchie Two Bags in there um, right. for everybody. But a lot of really cool crevices that you can get into with this game. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it.